Okay, today we're going to take a look at a relatively simple problem. It's one that you, you may hit from time to time and wonder what to do. So uh, on this particular page, we've got a form. Uh, the form's going to collect the throw time from the catcher to a various base. So how long it takes them to get it out of their glove and get it to the base to get someone out. Now right now, we have no default values in this form whatsoever. So the, we don't guide the person on you know seconds and tenths or hundredths or what to put there. So one of the things that you'll often see folks try to do is to go in, uh, they'll look at the form and maybe we'll say, hey, I've got the time for the throw to first base. I'm gonna scroll down here and I wanna put a value placeholder of 0.0. .0. That'll tell folks what to do, right? And it will. So now we can come back, we'll refresh the page and we can see 0.0. .0. And I'm gonna go ahead and type in a time here. I'll say 2.2 .2 and make sure I pick a base length. I'll save the time, but one of the things you'll notice is this is a placeholder value, right? Uh, not an actual value. And so we ran into the need to record uh, 0.0, .0 um, as our nulls as opposed to uh, just a null here. So how do you do that? Well, what we're going to do uh, is show you real quickly how to do a pre-page computational value. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this value placeholder. It'll actually populate the 0.0, .0 uh, and then upon save, save it to the table. Um, up here at the top, we've got pre-rendering on the page. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go in here and create a new, uh, a new computation. Uh, we're going to choose the item that we want to compute for. So in this case, we're going to do our throw time to first base. Uh, we're going to just set it to a simple a static value, type 0.0, .0 and hit save. All right, and if we go back to our page over here, I can do a refresh. Right now, you still see the same placeholder value, but if I go back and enter the same thing, type in a new row. Seems like I need to always remember to put my base length in. Now you see you have, instead of a null value, uh, you've actually inserted a zero uh, to the table. Now we'll simply repeat this process. So I can just duplicate this three times and then change the value up here to second base, third base, and home. Go back into the table, do a refresh on the page, and everything will populate now, I can save, it'll save zeros across the top. 